Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. You know, many of you know that on December 31st of each year, I sit down and ask myself one question, same question every year. If I'm sitting here one year from today, what has to have happened for me to feel I've made meaningful progress in those areas of my life that I value most? Now, let's just look back over the last couple of years. I mean, I've done that, to that. Let's just say I did it in 2019. I did it in 2020. I did it in 2020, 2019, 2020, 2021, right? So I've got, if you just look back, let's go back to 2019. I, first of all, on December 31st, I didn't have any clue what was going to happen three weeks later to the extent that it would happen. But on January 21st, the CDC announces their very first, they, they announced the very first case of the Delta variant of COVID in the United States and away it went. And then fast forward to May 5th and George Floyd is murdered. And immediately protests in 140 cities around the United States, 21 of those cities had to call in the National Guard. Disruption, yes. Predictable, no. Okay, now let's go forward to 2021. Just the first week, January 6th, over 2,000 protesters stormed the Capitol. I don't have to describe the disruption that that happened. How would that be predictable? Just a week after I sat down and tried to figure out for the year. And then you get around to November of that same year, of last year, November of last year, then you've got the CDC coming out and saying, oh, there's another variant. It's called Omicron. Wow, we got to deal with this. And then February 24th of this year, you have Russia in a full-scale assault on Ukraine. Now, if that doesn't prove that we live in a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world, I don't know what does. But how do we deal with it? See, this doesn't include everything else that goes on in our families and in our businesses and our, you know, people get sick and they get, I mean, it doesn't include the normal stuff. This is the extra normal stuff. How do we deal with that? What is your story going to be when you look back on this? Maybe you're going to continue to just try to guess what it's down and try to anticipate where you're going. I mean, you're going to stay positive and get through it. Or maybe it's going to make you collapse a little bit. Maybe you're going to sit back and say, why bother? I don't have any control over it. It's out of my control anyway. Just let it go. Before you go to either side of that, I can get through this. I'm tough versus why worry. Okay. Take time to ask yourself a simple question. What story do you want to tell? What story do you want to tell? You see, all of us decide, we decide that we have an interesting, teachable story that we can be proud of. We all want that. And going forward, we can have that. But it's going to require us to stop mid-choice and ask, what story do I want to tell? Not mid-decision, because decisions we make, right? But decisions we say we're going to we're going to be strong. We're going to be successful. We're going to be healthy. We're going to be financially strong. We're going to be good parents. We're going to be good leaders, be good people. Those are decisions we make, but it's our choices that make the difference. So what story do you want to tell? Andy, Andy Stanley once wrote that the primary reason we don't think in terms of story when making decisions, or should I say choices, is that the story comes later. Choices are now. See, we think of the future later, as in later when it's too late to do anything about it. We don't think in terms of a story because we're distracted by the pressure and emotions we feel in the moment. See, the choices that we're in the middle of, the ones that we're making right now are going to be reduced to a story that we get to tell. But once it's behind us, like 2021 is behind you, it's a story. But the rest of your story is a story waiting to be written. It's in front of you. And you'll create that story one choice at a time. So why don't we just take down? I've taken down in my journal and I wrote down, what is my story? What story do I want to tell? I put it up on my mirror where I can see it. 
What story do I want to tell? If I can know what story I want to tell about me, I'm going to make better choices in the moment. And if I can make better choices, then I'm going to move forward. And that doesn't mean I won't make bad choices. But if I ha what story do I want to make? I'm, I can reinterpret my bad choices and learn from them. And that can make better choices in the present that gives me a better story. So think in terms of the story. The choices that we make, make us. The choices that you make, make you. Choices happen in the moment. Yes and no lead in opposite directions and determine the story, determine the story of our lives. Have a meaningful week. Arrows out. Onward, upward, and outward. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.